Imagine getting admission into a U.S. university to study for free without writing any single exam or paying any agent. I know that sounds unbelievable, but that exactly is what happened to me. Hello besties, today I'll be sharing a story that I hope would inspire everyone listening. It's a story of how I, a regular non-STEM student in Nigeria, got admission to all the schools I applied to in the US without writing any single exam. If you've been dreaming um, of studying in the United States, stick around because this could be the game changer you've been looking for. Non-STEM students in Nigeria. I had a dream of studying in the United States one day. Honestly, <laughs> it was more than just a wish. As I would constantly check videos online and vlogs on YouTube about what living in the US entails. Ala the Akos channel was literally what I would binge watch at that particular point in my life. I would also visualize myself on campus engaging with cultural diversity. Of course, you know, this dream came true because I am now in the US, but it also came true with its own fear of challenges and uncertainties. I was a non-STEM student and I was aware of all the challenges that could pose. In fact, at that particular time, I told a friend of mine who was already studying in the US and he bluntly told me that I could not get admission and scholarship because scholarship was majorly reserved for STEM students. And if you don't know what STEM means, it means science, technology, engineering, and mathematics. Of course, all these uncertainties caused a doubt in my heart, but I made a decision to try to embrace all the challenges that might come my way and to make an effort in the fulfillment of my dreams. So I started my journey and here is my story. Step in my journey was to research schools. This was not just a random aimless search, but it was a targeted and a strategic one. It was based on my interests and specific requirements. Yes, I had my own requirements, as funny as it might sound. It was like I was a detective. I was literally searching the internet day and night for courses for universities that would offer my course, that would offer the courses that I was passionate about, but would also meet my unique needs. I knew I wanted to study in the United States, but I also knew that I did not want to write any exam nor submit an official transcript. Of course, the letter was flexible, but the former was not. I knew I did not want to write any exam at all. So I dug deep, looking for universities that did not require entrance exams. This was not an easy task, as you can tell, as many universities at that time do require some form of testing. You know, this time that I'm talking about was before COVID. Of course, after the advent of COVID, a lot of universities have now moved to being text, test optional. But I was determined and I was persistent. And at the end of the day, I was able to find some schools that met my requirements. But after finding these schools, even though I found these schools, the research did not, did not stop there. I reached out to universities directly, asking them specific questions about their admission requirements. For instance, a university did not waive the test of English proficiency test for Nigerians. I reached out to them so that they can know that we speak English in my country. And at the end of the day, I was able to um, get that waived for me. During this phase, I also paid attention to deadline story. I have realized that this research phase was a very vital part of my journey. It helped me identify the right schools the ones that aligned with my goals and need. It also gave me a sense of direction and purpose. Honestly, it laid the groundwork for the next step in the application process. So now we've moved to the application process. Yes. Of course, we all know applying to universities in the US is a meticulous and daunting task, but I was ready to give it my all. The first step in the application process for me was to gather all the necessary materials. This included my unofficial transcript. Remember that I said earlier that I was looking to submit unofficial transcripts. And we all know that transcripts is a document 
that testify to your academic journey. I ensure that my transcripts were accurate and they were ready for submission. After making sure that my um, transcript was ready, I turned my focus towards the crucial aspect of the application, the statement of purpose and resume. The statement of purpose was an opportunity for me to tell my story, to showcase my passion, to showcase my aspiration, and also my commitment to my chosen field of study. I poured out my art <laughs> meticulously on those papers, crafting each sentence to reflect my journey and vision for the future. I am not going to lie to you. Writing a compelling statement of purpose is not an easy thing to do. It demands introspection, clarity, and a deep understanding of one's goal. I started by outlining my academic journey, highlighting the specific experience that sparked my interest in my chosen field. I then delved into the reason why I was drawn to the universities I was applying to, emphasizing how their programs aligned with my career goals. Now, as you can see, I made sure that I tailored my statement of purpose to each particular school. So that is what you should also do, particularly if you are applying to different schools. So let's go back to my In addition to my statement of purpose, I also worked on strengthening my application with letters of recommendation. I reached out to my professors, the one that taught me in college, and also my boss, bosses. Ah, English is that. Literally, individuals who knew my academic capabilities and they could attest to it. They could give me a strong um, accreditation that will back up my already existing strong application because I'm not going to deny my application was actually very strong. I was also diligent about meeting application deadline. Remember that I noted them in the research phase. Um... Yeah, remember I noted them in the research phase, so I was very diligent about meeting application deadline. After months of hard work, late nights, and countless revision, my application was finally ready. I remember like yesterday, when I clicked the submit button to Kent State University, which was the first university I applied to. After submitting all my applications, one after the other, it was time to wait for the interview phase which was the requirement for the specific program I applied to. If you are finding this video helpful, please do not forget to give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and share it with your friends and family members. Every bit of your support means a lot to me. So yeah, let's go back to the story. So at the interview stage, I would not really dwell much on this stage because like I shared earlier, it is, um, if it is required for your um, course, it will be stated on your website. It is not for every course. Not every course actually requires the, interviews, the interview stage. You know, at this stage, I needed to convince the admission committee that I wrote my statement and I meant every word in it. I needed to, you know, restate my career goals um, and let them know why I deserve a spot in their school. Also, before the interview, I made sure that I practiced with frequently asked questions on Google. I revised, I did, I did mock interviews with my friend just to make sure that I was ready. And yeah, that was just it about the interview. I know I made a video about frequently asked questions for academic interview. I'm also going to pop that up on my screen. So if you're interested in that or if your course would require you to have an interview, I would say you should check out that video. So after the interview phase, of course, we all know I needed to wait. <laughs> and I'm not going to lie. The waiting part is the most difficult part because you are doing nothing and there's nothing you can do than just to wait. Every day, I will wake up with a fluster in my heart, hoping to get a new email notification. At that time, my Gmail and the school's website was my best friend. And that should be your best friend too, particularly if you are applying abroad. Um, yeah, so if you are applying abroad, please make sure that you always check your email and your admission portal because that is important, particularly after you've submitted your application. And then, dun, 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 my first acceptance letter was received. That was a moment of pure joy for me. The realization that I was going to study in the United States 
a dream I had nurtured for so long, literally since when I was in primary school. Yeah, I knew it was going to be above, I never knew it was going to be the United States. The joy was undescribable. I remember how I was shouting and jumping up and down in my room. I was unable to contain the excitement. As the days went by, more letters started coming in. And to my amazement, I was accepted into every single one of the six schools I applied to. I will attach my admission letters, the one I can find, I will attach them to the screen for the perusal. So you all can know that this is not a lie, neither is it a joke. That's not all. Five of these schools offered me fully funded scholarship with accommodation and monthly stipend. Why one offered me a partial scholarship which covered my tuition and gave me monthly stipend but did not give me accommodation. <laughs> now, I was not only going to study in the United States, but I was also going to do it without the burden of financial strain. It was a moment of relief for me and I felt an immense gratitude towards these institutions for providing me with such an opportunity to study for free without paying any dime, not even a single dime. Although the journey was challenging, but honestly, as you can tell, every step was worth it. So here is my reflection and my advice for you if you are applying to study in the US. First off, everything that you do will not be, you will not remember by the time you get the admission, which was my case. But then, looking back, I realized how crucial every step of this process was for me. Every little detail mattered, from the research phase to the moment of acceptance. Let's talk about the importance of timing. You've heard it, and I've said it, that the early bird catches the worm. This couldn't be more accurate in the context of a university application. Applying early isn't just about seeking a tax off your to-do list. It is about demonstrating your interest, your commitment, your readiness to the university. It is a silent signal that you are serious about this and that you are not just exploring option, but you are ready to commit to the universities. And universities appreciate that. Of course, we know you are applying to so many schools, but you need to show each of the universities that when they give you admission, you are ready to commit to them. Now let's move on to the strengths of your application. Remember I mentioned that my statement of purpose was particularly strong. That wasn't a coincidence. I worked on it relentlessly. I made sure it was not just a document, but a reflection of who I am. It was a reflection of my aspiration, my journey, my goals, and my dream. A strong application isn't just about meeting requirements. It's about exceeding them. It's about showcasing your uniqueness, your individuality, your potential. It is your chance to tell your story in your own words. I've heard a lot of people just picking um, statement online and dubbing it word for word. No, that doesn't tell your story. Sit down. There is always a story. Sit down. Maybe one of these days I'm going to read my statement of purpose out, but I am not sure because of the previous reason I just mentioned. I'm scared that people might dub my story. Here is the thing I want you to remember. A strong application doesn't just happen overnight. It takes time, effort, revision, feedback, more revision, and sometimes starting all over again, which I did so many times. It's a process. It's a journey within a journey. But trust me, it is worth it. It is worth every moment you spend perfecting your application, every moment you spend reflecting on your journey, every moment you spend envisioning your future. So to all of you out there who I am embarking on this journey, here is my advice to you. Make sure you start early, not just your application, but start early with your preparation. Research thoroughly, understand what you want and what universities are looking for. Align your interests with your chosen universities. Work on your application, especially your statement of purpose and your resume. Make sure that they are strong. Make sure that they are unique and make sure that they are you. Make your statement of purpose you. Don't rush it. Take your time. My friend, is my journey to studying in the US. Let's revisit the key points we've discussed. The, the first step was research. It was crucial to find schools that aligned with my interest 
and add the flexibility to forego exams and accept unofficial transcripts. The next was application process, where early submission and a strong material, especially the statement of purpose and the resume, made all the difference. Um, the next one was the interview stage, where I had to prove that I meant business. And finally, the acceptance stage, where I saw the fruits of my hard work that got me into five fully funded scholarships and one partial scholarship. Well, I hope my story has inspired you. I hope it has fired up your ambitions. And I hope it has shown you that even what seems impossible can become a reality. It's all about believing in your dream, putting in the work, and never losing sight of your goal. That is very important. Please believe in yourself. If you found this video helpful and you want to see more content like this, please hit that subscribe button down below. Hit it, hit it, it is free. It helps to support the channel and also ensures that you don't miss out on any future video. Make sure you also give my video a thumbs up Turn on the notification bell and if you know someone who could benefit from hearing my story, please do not hesitate to share this video with them. Remember that knowledge is power and sharing it can have a profound impact on someone's life. I'd love to hear your thoughts, your own experiences or any questions you might have. So don't hesitate to drop a comment down below. I'll do my best to respond to each and every one of you. And provide as much guide and provide as much guidance as I as I can. Ah, English is that. I have a paid um personal consultation as well, and I have a I have an ebook that documents all this process where I will get to hold your hand. If that interests you, please send me an email or click the link in the description box. Remember that I can do it, so can you. Dream big, work out, work hard, and you will make it too. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next video. Take care and bye. Love you.